Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, with the 2020 Mr. Olympia only days away, uh, many people are expecting Phil Heath to uh, recapture the title of Mr. Olympia, or, or at the very least, be battling first and second with Brandon Harry, Brandon Curry. Now, if you uh, watched my videos recently, you know that I have a different opinion on this. Uh, in my Olympia predictions, I had actually have Phil Heath coming in fourth place. Many people think I'm a little crazy, but I got my reasons. Now, before I go a little further, I'm going to roll this little clip from the 2018 Mr. Olympia when Sean Roden defeated Phil Heath for the title. Now, you can see this is the the final comparisons. You have William Bonac, Sean Roden, Ruley Winkler, and Phil Heath uh, up there. Now, here you can see Sean Roden turning, facing Phil Heath. Sean has his hands on his hips, and he's watching Phil Heath. Bonac and Winkler turn also to face Phil Heath and see what's going on. And He's not only is his gut hanging out in all its glory, look like he's seven seven months pregnant. He is really, really sucking wind over here. Now, uh, obviously, what lost the title for him was his midsection issue, and you can see it full blown in this in this clip. Uh, but what else is going on? Is something more than just the midsection issue. The way he's sucking wind like that, it's tiring. Uh, I've been up on stage posing. If you're really posing the way you should be posing, it's tiring. But you don't see anyone else up there sucking wind like that. There's something more going on with Phil Heath besides the gut issue. And I I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. Phil Heath, in order to win, he needs to fix his midsection. And it, it has to be more than just improved from his last uh, performance where he lost the title, he needs to really fix it. They're not going to let him uh, get by with anything less. I've said over and over again, I don't think he's going to be able to fix it at least sufficiently to recapture uh, the title, we've had a, we've seen a, a number of bodybuilders in recent years that have had midsection issues. A couple of them have fixed the problem. Uh, ben Pekulski, for one. And Ruli Winkler. But others couldn't fix the problem. Uh, after they retired and downsized, they seem to have fixed in the issue with the midsection. Uh, what exactly is causing it? I think there's a, a couple of different things that could be causing it, but whatever it is, in some instances, it's not to the point where it cannot be corrected during during the bodybuilders' competitive years, and in other, other 
instances they needed to downsize first for the issue to be fixed. Uh, I personally don't think that he's going to be able to fully fix his midsection issue carrying the size that he's been carrying. I think he's at a point where whatever exactly it is that's causing it, he would need to downsize first in order to fix it. And then you got to take another thing into consideration, uh, mindset and the drive. It takes a lot to compete at the very high level that you need to compete at if when you're stepping on the Mr. Olympia stage. With his time off, keep in mind, the last time he was on stage was 2018. He hasn't been on stage since his loss to Rodin. This is two years, actually, two years and a number of months. you got to take into consideration that uh, Mr. Olympia wasn't held in September this year. It was moved into December. So it gave him a, it's been a little more than two years since he last competed. Putting his body through that grind uh, with the uh, training, the dieting and all that, does he still have that same fire that he had previously? Does he still have a now to, to be able to drive him to put himself through what he needs to be what he needs to put himself through to win back the title. That's a question mark also. To conclude this video, uh, like I pointed out in the beginning, it's his midsection that lost the title for him, but as we saw in that video clip, there was more than just a midsection issue going on with him. Uh, the way he was sucking wind and everything, there's a more than just a midsection issue that he's dealing with. Uh, I don't think that's going to be corrected or at least corrected fully for him to win back the title or even play second. There's, there's a lot of stuff Stiff competition. This is a highly competitive Mr. Olympia this year. And I just do not think that uh, he's going to be able to bring back enough to even play second in this show. And like I said, I, at the end of the, towards the end of this video, I'm wondering whether... The mindset, the drive is still there the way it needs to be for, for you to be able to push yourself to that extreme to bring in the type of package you need to bring in to win the Mr. Olympia. Uh, I do not think he's going to win. I do not think he's going to play second or third. I have him down at fourth place. Uh, that's my opinion. You might agree or disagree with what I've said in this with what I've said in this video. Either way, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.